wax room. I've seen a lot of hooks. This guy is no shooter. Whoa! Job. Long winded letters before noon. Take us. He's like, so <laughs> I'm taking him to the hospital. All right. Who's going to hypnotize Ralph? I'm Dr. Sharon Finkel. Dr. Finkel, thank you so much for squeezing us in. Our friend Ralph here the is therapist. having trouble remembering information for a detective case. Right, Ralph? So, I see you didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> no. Fucker. <laughs> Did you? I see someone crying. Dude's really bumming me out. Hey, cheer up, buddy. You can do it. Oh, that's why. What else do you see? Those cries at the see moment. Some women. I can't see their faces. 34, 32, 36, 38, 34, 32. Those buzz rounds. Measurements. I think they are measurements. Ew. I see something else. Yellow. I see a... It's a bison. Hello? Bison? Does a bison mean anything to either of you? This hocus pocus is never gonna work on a guy like me, but we can try it if you want. How'd you guys get over there? Harrison Wolfgang. Well, let's some talk. Oh no! Do you know that it amused me being seen with saving your tiny world matters when the entire multiverse will inevitably be consumed in a fiery heat death? Death? That's what I said, death. Death. Oh. Yeah, death. Death. Yeah. Oh, you must be the little one they call this guy. I'm five seven. Good time. <laughs> five seven. Um, from Earth forty seven. I give you the billionaire inventor and publishing tycoon, general champion of free speech, H. Lothario Wells. Oh, that's right. I keep that coming. I tried the other one. No, no, not the cross. It's that. Yeah. Ooh. He's uh, otherwise occupied. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Well. He's got I'm a tan. Y'all got us red handed here at the mansion on dress up, man. You know what they say? Intellect is the greatest aphrodisiac. Also, nobody says that. Here's the rising IQs and libidos. Almost like Matthew McConaughey. Uh, hate to call to a pattern here, Harry, but aren't your friends just. And from the post apocalyptic landscape of Earth 22, where man and machine have become one in order to survive. I give you Wells 2.0. Right out. Let's make this quick. Three buzz of radio, our petrol supplies, and stuff, and all water tanks. I like to smash them to bits. Wow. It's a party now. Yeah. And off the gray. On a sub molecular level. Don't know what that means, don't care. Just yank the tarp off. I'm ready for my super suit. It's right there. Ralph, this tarp is your super suit. <laughs> When you stretch, it stretches. When you squish, it squishes. It squishes into something but ugly. Where's the style? Later. Dibby needs the peacock. Dibby needs to wear the prototypes this go so lovingly made for him. Either that or you fight crime naked. No, don't fight crime naked. What is this, a puppy raincoat? I am the black vice. The black bison. That's what she wants. The flash. Whoa! Now that is a cool suit. We're gonna take some pics for some fun. What he did to Savitar. Uh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh crap. Bad, 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 bad idea. He didn't learn anything. <gasps> See, he heard a little girl. She's still breathing. How do you do it? How do you walk around knowing what could happen to all those people? I don't always handle it well. I've made bad decisions and sometimes I got more people hurt. You just gotta do the best you can. And when that's not enough, you lean on the people around you. Huh. You mean you? <laughs> yeah, me. I brought you into this because I think that you have the makings of a hero, but I would be lying if I said there won't be hard days. And when there are, you need someone to turn to. I can be that person. If you want. You do that for me. I will make it my personal mission to protect your heart. Aww. Look, bro, I actually think it's great you're feeling all this stuff. But don't forget, that little girl's gonna be okay. And we got the bad guy. Yeah. Is that so? <laughs> right at the museum. Well, Flash can go. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. You can go up against a dinosaur. Oh, no. That's cool. That's cool. You're really never going to stop chasing me, are you? No, really not. Do you have any idea how many things I can bring to life in this place? The gargoyles on the roof? The reliefs carved into the walls and support pillars. I can bring this whole place down in a matter of seconds. But you won't. Because there is one thing you care about more than vengeance, isn't there? <gasps> I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> you know who he is? According to Harry's friends, the name we're looking for is Clifford. Clifford DeVoe. 92% match to our psychological profile, no other DeVoe comes close. Guy keeps a low profile. No social media, no criminal record. And we know where he's hiding. 43 Hibbard Lane. Well, if he's as dangerous as you said, you can call safe and get a squad over there. No. Let's go get him. Guys, Dawn, Zoom, Savitar. For once, we actually have a chance here to get ahead of our end. Let's go get the ball. He's watching you. We're about to have guests. And let's be ready to greet them. This is Bruce. This is the one. Is that your one? I am the sky to go. I have eyes on the front door. That's so cool. Snow and frost, stand by. Just give us the word and we'll breach in. What kind of criminal mastermind has a welcome back? Oh, 
I'm the mechanic. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm Detective Joe West, CCPD. This is Barry Allen, my associate. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Uh, we were just hoping to uh, talk with Clifford DeVoe. Is he here? Yes, he is. May I ask what this is about, officers? We just need to ask him some questions. Is something wrong? Is my husband in trouble? Your husband? No, ma'am. Clifford? The police are here. They'd like a word. Thank you, Mayor. Interesting. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Clifford DeVoe. I'm going to be of help. But I'm going to do mini series because I don't want to miss any detail because I feel that each detail of the story is going to be very meaningful. So I don't believe I'm, I'm going to do much editing because I just want to keep it in its, in its entirety. The main storyline was Barry mentoring Ralphie. I'm going to call him Ralphie as Elastic Man and having Ralphie understand what it truly means to be a hero, what it means to be selfless, to put others first, and to protect the people first. And it took him a bad experience of having a child be hurt in the process for him to fully understand how much responsibility he truly has. And so throughout this episode, we got to see Ralphie trying to understand the whole concept and to be able to just redeem himself. So that was the main storyline. Oh, and so the second storyline was with Cisco and Harrison. So supposedly Harrison has made friends, but he pretty much made friends with himself from other universes. I don't think that really counts. But it was still entertaining to see Tom Cavanaugh and different characters. And I love the fact that one was Andy Warhol. The second one was reminiscent of Matthew McConaughey, in my mind, or Owen Wilson. It was like a cross between those two. And then... Wells 2.0, I have no idea who that one was supposed to be. But <laughs> but that storyline gave some good comic relief. So, okay. So with this whole overall thinker plot, what exactly does he want to do? I mean, what exactly is the thinker's plot to make himself become victorious? Not quite sure. And then with the mechanic, she was showing some frustration as far as not understanding you know, why things are happening like this, but apparently he has all these different algorithms and, uh, and equations to be prepared for any type of matter. So it's very interesting. It's like she's a meta that is almost like a traveling night at the museum-esque kind of feel to it. And like wherever she, she is, she can make things come alive. I mean, yes, she's on the bus because Ralphie was hypnotized, which I thought was a hilarious scene and now we understand why the weeper he has that power is because he was crying on the bus and there are three metas at iron heights one being ralphie with team flash and one supposedly with the thinker and i'm talking about the weeper so we have seven more metas to meet interesting interesting okay just so some side notes i think it was hysterical with the special effects and ralphie as plastic man or elastic man whichever one he wants to be called i think with him having the special effects of him stretching in so many different contortions i just find that so enjoyable and his humor it's icky he has an icky sense of humor it's just like but um it's he's, he's funny he really reminds me of a young jim carrey in some sense but um i find him very entertaining as an actor so that's pretty cool. And I do actually like him with the serious side. So the thinker, interesting to just see him as that person. So let the chess game begin. Thank you guys for leaving comments. Thank you to Stephen Brown, Itchy Cinco, Nay Ross. Hey, what you doing? Panos. I'm just going to call it Panos V. <laughs> and uh, Damien Womanizer. Hey, how's it going? And for any of you new subscribers, hello, hello. So I will see you next week. Please like, share, and subscribe. Got to get the phone. Okay, bye.